Governor at Ricardo Rossello, we are with you and the people of Puerto Rico, Trump tweeted Wednesday, hours after Maria made landfall on the U.S. territory. Stay safe. Number PR strong. Since then, Trump has largely focused his Twitter attention on a dispute with National Football League players kneeling during the national anthem, with more than a dozen tweets or retweets related to the protests. The issue of kneeling has nothing to do with race, Trump tweeted early Monday in a flurry of Twitter posts defending his comments. It is about respect for our country, flag, and national anthem. NFL must respect this. Many took notice of Trump's passion for this issue and his relative silence silence on the ongoing crisis in Puerto Rico. The devastation in Puerto Rico has set us back nearly 20 to 30 years, Jennifer Gonzalez, Puerto Rico's non-voting representative in the U.S. Congress, said Sunday. The destruction of properties, of flattened structures, of families without homes, of debris everywhere. The island's greenery is gone. Last week, Trump declared Puerto Rico a major disaster and pledged the full support of the U.S. government. And while basic supplies have begun moving into Puerto Rico, extensive damage to airports, harbors and roads in Maria's wake has left the island largely isolated, complicating federal relief efforts. We still need some more help. This is clearly a critical disaster in Puerto Rico, Rossello told The Washington Post on Sunday night. It can't be minimized and we can't start overlooking us now that the storm passed, because the danger lurks. Hillary Clinton urged the Trump administration to send the U.S. Navy to aid in the response. Federal Emergency Management Agency Administrator Brock Long tweeted on Sunday morning that he was headed to Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands Monday to survey the damage. You hear about the destruction, but honestly, until we get out here and see it firsthand, it's hard to frame it all up, Mike Pruitt, a member of FEMA's Incident Support Command, told the USA Today over the weekend. It's absolutely devastating to see what they've lost. But as FEMA teams fanned out across the storm-ravaged island, Trump was escalating his attacks escalating his attack on the NFL, calling on fans to boycott games until players who refuse to stand for the national anthem are fired. If NFL fans refuse to go to games until players stop disrespecting our country, you will see change take place fast, Trump tweeted early Sunday morning. Fire or suspend.